Hi friends, welcome back. This is Martina. Today we're going to um, learn together the position of the king pigeon or Ekapada Raja Kapotasana. Uh, before, to, before starting, I just wanted to tell you to bring to take one block and one strap and place them next to your mat because maybe you will need them. And also to warm up your body, I would suggest you to do my split flow and my heart openers flow that you can find on my page so that your hips and your back are ready for this pose. So we will start in downward dog. Push your hips high, heels towards the mat. Spine nice and long. And from here, inhale, lift the left leg up and with the next exhale bring the shin on the mat left knee towards the left hand and just place it completely down now if your hips are open enough you want to bring both your hips towards the mat so your pubic bone is pushing down here you want to square your hips so right hip push is pushing forward left one back and the back knee the right one in this case is looking down when you're here, you can also relax your foot on the mat. If this is not accessible for you, you can use a block. So if you are here, for example, because your hips are still not open enough, just place a block under your left um, um, leg and just place, it, place yourself on it. So really sit on the block. Keep squaring your hips, even in this position. So you can choose uh, which one is the best for you. If you can reach the floor, just go all the way down. Keep your hips squared, chest open. And then from here, bend the right leg and grab the right foot. First of all, we want to lengthen your quads. So you want to bring the heel towards you and then release. One more time and release. And you can, if you feel that you need to do it for more times, you can pause the video and just do it even five, seven times as much as you need to. From here, flex your right foot, grab the foot with your right hand. You want to have your palm facing up. From here, you want to bring the right elbow first towards the outside and then up. So you want to do this rotation with your shoulder what we call to flip your grip and you want to have in the end your elbows your elbow facing up keep squaring your hips and keep opening your chest your chest is pushing up and from here left hand up and you can either grab the opposite arm and walk along the along the arm to reach your foot or if you can you can reach straight your foot keep squaring your hips open your chest now you want to try to bring your elbows closer to each other you can stay here or if you don't have any neck problems just let your head back and bring your foot towards your forehead keep opening the chest and keep bringing your elbows one towards the other And then slow release with control. Okay. If this is not still accessible for you, you can do the same with the help of a strap. So bring the strap <laughs> and use the strap, place it around your foot, and you want to grab the strap. Again, your palm is facing up. Same rotation on your shoulder, elbows out and then up. Pay attention here not to grab your, the strap too far away because then this is not going to work. You're not really opening the shoulder here. So maybe try different uh, uh, ways and see which is the place in which you are supposed to bring, put your hand. It depends on your flexibility. And from here again, rotation on your shoulder, bring your elbows up. You can stay here or again reach with your other hand the strap <laughs> open your chest again elbows one towards the other and open here if you can let your head back 
you can even walk if you feel like you can open a little bit more walk along the strap and then slowly release and as a counter pose you just want to <laughs> my child you want to lay in front so bring your belly down you can stay on your forearms or if you can bring your hands on the mat and your forehead on your hands relax your back and then slowly come back up curl your toes under and just go back in downward dog and if you feel the need to you can move here a little bit your legs and then from here you want to repeat it on the other side so with the right leg always do it on both sides uh, I think this is a pretty advanced pose so it's not going to be easy at the beginning but with the help of a strap and the block I think it's accessible always work on it carefully don't force it don't insist on it if you feel your back is hurting in any ways don't do it try to really listen to your body and you will see that over time you will come easier and easier uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my channel if you feel that something you are actually enjoying and also wanted to ask you if you are interested in any other tutorials please leave a comment and say which kind of which pose you would like me to do a tutorial about and that's it. I think that is all. You also saw Dobby, <laughs> who's now watching at me. <laughs> like, why don't you play with me? <laughs> okay. I hope you're going to have a nice day. And namaste.